Today we'll take a look at the Shep CMC641 and how does it compare with the Simit 5U. I'm Richard and welcome to Zackby Productions and today we will take a look at the Sherps CMC641 and really how does it compare with the Simit 5U in terms of sound, rejection and various other parameters. I know both of these mics are really different, one being an indoor dialogue mic, supposedly that's how it's positioned, a super cardio indoor dialogue mic and the other being a shotgun mic which is meant more for outdoor usage. But there are comparisons between them and today we'll take a look at how they sound like especially indoors in a, you know, a room with a lot of reverberation and of course outdoors and this will be a video that compares both of them throughout. Now mainly we'll focus on the CMC641 as I already did a review on the Simit 5U especially how it compares with the Mini Simit and from there you can actually compare with every other mic because the Mini Simit and the Simit 5U sounds really close to each other. One day I'll actually put all the expensive mic I have together and then we'll do a major comparison especially when I can borrow my mics from uh, my friends which also do sound mixing. Now uh, the CMC641 is something that uh, I purchased from uh, one of my dealers and this is more like a a la carte set so there is no windshield. This is actually the CMC6 amplifier set with a la carte MK41 and a cut 60 filter itself. Now this sold to me at a really good price because this is actually a display set so uh, it's probably on display for a year because the serial number is still very new. I mean this is like a 60,000 plus series uh, serial number and you can see that this box is actually a really nice new box very similar to what you see in the Mini Simi itself. So uh, the CMC641 is a mic that is quite legendary and the reason why it's legendary is because of how its pickup pattern is like. So if you actually look at the polar pattern of this uh, CMC641, it has a very even polar pattern, you know, for every single frequency from the front, the side, you know, it is very similar as such. Somebody off axis just sounds softer rather than sound different. Now this is something that shotgun microphones are not really good at. When somebody is off axis, they sound different and that is why for indoor dialogues, especially with two or three people, a lot of people prefer something like a, a super cardioid microphone. Now of course not all super cardioid microphones are the same and as such the CMC641 stands out as being one of the most even sounding off axis and that is something that we will test later. Now the CMC641 have a relatively flat frequency as you can see in the frequency chart here. There is some roll off at the end and you can use the cut 60 filter that I have here on hand and uh, you can actually do a further cut at the set, I think 60 dB fourth order. So fourth order which means reduction of about 24 de uh, decibel in terms of sound from the 60 dB portion of the uh, frequency itself. Now the cut 60 filter is quite interesting and I will test it at the very end to let you guys hear because the cut 60 filter actually also adds up another 5 or 6 dB of sound. Uh, it makes it louder so you know if you actually plug into a poorer amplifier like the C200 for some reason, you want to plug it directly, it actually sounds better because you work out the amplifier lesser and then the microphone sounds louder so it sounds better overall. So that is actually how the cut 60 filter works. You know, not only does it reduce the sound in the 60 dB region but it also you know, gives a bigger amplification for all other frequencies. And that's really about my general talking about the CMC641. Now, as I said, I'll be comparing the Simit 5U. So let's hear how it sounds like off axis. Now, I'll be reading a short one sentence from the shirt's website on the MK41 capsule. And I will do, you know, center, left, right. Then I will change to Simit 5U, center, left, right to let you guys hear how the off axis coloration is like. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. This is in the center. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. This is to the left. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. This is to the right of the microphone. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. This is in the center. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. This is to the left. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. This is to the right of the microphone. And that is how the off-axis sound sound like. So next, I'll on the traffic sound, the simulator traffic sound on my left side to let you guys hear how the, both of these microphones work, you know, when you have relatively loud environments. 
This is actually a traffic video from Delhi. So this is how it actually sounds like and speaking normally and the speaker is to my left here. So I'm just letting you guys hear how does both of this mic work when you have a off axis loud sound like to a traffic or maybe some sort of market to the left side and how does it work because there are people who actually bring uh, super kaidoi or hyper kaidoi microphones out as out, uh, as outdoor microphones rather than shotgun microphones so is a shotgun microphone better in such a situation now that may not be true as because i'm using a point source sound maybe when i do the roadside test in the later part of the day uh, when there's nobody around and just traffic and uh, maybe it'll sound better with the shotgun microphone but if not i'm not really sure myself you guys can listen i'm as, as i alternate between both the cmc641 and the simit 5u itself now i'll keep quiet for the next uh five seconds so that you can compare the traffic sound between both of these microphones Okay, pretty much this is how the traffic sound sounds like for both of these microphones. And now I'll off the traffic. And then next I'll let you guys hear the room tone. Now, my room is relatively treated here. So uh, the general room tone depends on the time of the day. Now this is in the afternoon, late afternoon, so it's quite loud outside. But I have curtains to block out and there is an aircon, so it should sound maybe about negative 60 plus dB for room tone. The next test I'll do is the voiceover test and that's because a lot of people do use the shotgun microphones for voiceover. So let's hear how it sounds like both for voiceover itself. Now normally dialogue mics do not do that because they are a little bit more sensitive to pop but why not let's test it out and let's see how they sound like. So this is actually the test of a voiceover and I'll read the first statement from the Sherp's MK41 side again. This, the MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear dry sound pickup. Uh, its polar pattern is exceptionally frequency independent. Sounds from the side and back are strongly attenuated but picked up without false coloration. This feature has made the MK41 an international standard for indoor film sound. This, the MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear dry sound pickup. Uh, its polar pattern is exceptionally frequency independent. Sounds from the side and back are strongly attenuated but picked up without false coloration. This feature has made the MK41 an international standard for indoor film sound. Okay, the next test I'm doing is when I'm about one arm's length away, as you can see here. So this is how it sounds like when it's one arm's length away. And, you know, pretty much if you are capturing dialogue, especially with two or three people, you probably put at least this distance away from the person itself. So I'll read the same one sentence on axis and off axis to one side to let you guys hear how they sound like for both of these microphones. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. The MK41 effectively attenuates diffuse sound energy and produces a clear, dry sound pickup. Now, that's pretty much all the tests I'll be doing in the room here. Uh, I will actually go and listen it and then, of course, I'll do some tests in my living room and outdoors. And then we will finally conclude this entire video. So this is quite a comprehensive test. And with this, you can actually compare to my other reviews in my channel to have a good understanding on how the CMC641 actually works out. Hello everyone, and now this is a living room test, so my microphones are somewhere here, you cannot see it, but it's the same thing, channel 1 is the Simit 5U and channel 2 is the CMC641, and both of them are connected to the Mix Pre 3 and mounted on my EOS R5, so I'm doing actually a, more like a selfie video, but I put my camera higher and aim the shotgun mics down so they are closer to what you normally will have, you know, uh, slightly above the camera microphones pointing at the subject itself. The mics are approximately one feet away. I think this is like one feet away. So they are not too near or not too far. 
uh, and I think it's pretty much appropriate for the purpose of uh, videos like this. Now, uh, this is of course my indoor living room. You can hear the living the wall I'm knocking on the right side and there's also a wall on the other side so there is a lot of walls and you can hear a lot of reverbs so this is uh you can consider this as an untreated room in a normal living space with sofas shelves and everything all around so this is how it sounds like in such a space itself and uh once again you know this is a uh, untreated space so you can roughly hear how it sounds like for both of these microphones in such a condition does it make a difference to be a shotgun or an indoor dialogue that's for you to listen for this section itself and next part i'll move on to the toilet which is a highly reverb area so this is my toilet and this is probably the most echoey highly reverberant room that you can always get in a house and most likely you do not want to do your video here nor audio here and if you really want to hear how it sounds like let me let you guys hear how it sounds like from the camera itself it is super echoey and even me standing in the toilet now with the door closed is creating a lot of sound now there's a window there too so sound is also coming out from the outside so this is a good test on whether an indoor microphone is truly better than a shotgun microphone because more often than not, uh, people say that the reason why shotguns are not good for indoor is because in a very echoey space, the shotgun microphones will tend to have funny sound effects and uh, due to the interference tube. So maybe this is a case where the uh, indoor microphones such as a Super Kaidoi or the CMC641 will sound significantly better. So this is a test to see the 641 versus a Simin 5U, which is uh, actually a better mic for a room like this. Very enclosed, very echoey, and probably the worst place you can take a video and audio ever, you know, for a uh, take itself. And that's about it. Next, I'll move out to outdoors and let's take a listen there. This is the outdoor test with the two microphones the CMC641 and the CMI Fire mounted on my EOS R5. This is the outdoor. Right side of me is uh, the road, and left side of me is the car park. I'm currently on a grass patch outside this place itself and the mics are about one feet away from me i'm wearing a mask so this is how it sounds like in this scenario itself to let you guys know how it sounds like for outdoor scenario now uh there are cars that occasionally will pass by here so you can see how the traffic actually get rejected or accepted by the microphone itself and how they sound like you know and then now there's actually a bus that's going to go past here so the bus is a bit louder than expected for compared to the cars so you guys can actually hear how it sounds like so uh, the shotgun mic is something that is supposed to excel very well in an outdoor scenario while the uh, you know the super cardio microphones are much better for indoor but doesn't stop you from actually using either one of them indoor and outdoor as you can see so far in all the tests it's just your acceptance of what kind of sound you want from the microphone itself now this is one feet away now i'm going to move two feet away and then we will do a final test before we head back to the studio itself now this is two feet away once again the simit 5u and the cmc641 and i'm two feet away from the camera and microphones the microphones are pointing slightly downwards now the rain is actually coming so after this recording i'll probably be returning back to the studio itself so this is to let you guys hear how it sounds like two feet away away from the microphones now the microphone are being run by the mix pre so later in post processing i will of course lift the volume upwards so that you can hear how it sounds like uh, in this scenario itself and you know how it feels like to use either the shotgun microphone or indoor dialogue microphone or super kaidoi microphone and actually how they sound like in an outdoor environment two feet away so the previous one was one feet away and now this is two feet away so i pretty much cover how it sounds like for an outdoor scenario and you know all the cars passing by how good the microphones pick up my voice i think it's a good measurement of what to expect using either of these microphones outdoors and now i'll move back to the studio and i will see you guys later now this will be the closing of the cmc641 versus the cmit 5u just to note, this is a CMC641 review, but I thought that comparing with the Simit 5U will give you guys a better understanding between both of these microphones and also you know, add value to this video because you will now know whether CMC641 will be a better choice for you or the CMIT 5U will be a better choice for you. Now, both of them are top-end microphones. They cost really a lot and I'm just lucky to have both of them to test out in this review here. Now, just to note, this very last part of the review, the CMC641 will be with the Cut60 filter, while the, you know, the Sherp Simit 5U 
will be with the high pass filter turned on. So both of them will be rolling off the lower, you know, lower rumbles away. So that let's see whether it makes a difference to the sound itself. Now, but on general, what we have learned so far and heard so far with the comparison, uh, for me, I found that the difference between both of these microphones is that the Simi Fire has a little bit more body, especially the moment you go further away, if you actually hear the two feet comparison. Uh, there is slightly more body in the Simit 5U sound. Uh, the CMC641 is a little bit more natural, but it does have slightly less body to the sound itself. Now, uh, if you actually look at the various comparison, uh, especially like say the room tone one, the Simit 5U does have a little bit more high frequency. There's some sort of bump there, and therefore the noise is also a little bit more high frequency. Now, for the off-axis sound, I did notice that the CMC641 does a better job than the Simit 5U. Uh, the 641 off-axis have lesser coloration and as such you know when i boosted the volume levels of the off-axis sound it sounds very similar to its on-axis sound unlike the simit 5u when i went off-axis and i raised the volume up you can tell there is some slight difference in the sound itself and when the other one which is even more off-axis on the other side i did notice that the simit 5u changed the sound color itself more than the cmc641 so something to note that if you are looking to record two or three people or if you are looking to record environmental sound together with the main vocals, the CMC641 probably does a better job. Now in terms of the volume of the noise, if you use a software to compare, the CMC641 seems to have a higher volume and that's because it has a lot of uh, bass capture. So what happens is that with the Cut60 filter, I think that will go away and it will make the CMC641 slightly if not similarly as quiet as the Simi Fire, at least in terms of measurement. But actually when you hear it with your ears, because you know most of our earphones, our headphones cannot produce 40, 40 dB rumbles, it will probably still be softer, you know, the noise-wise when you are actually listening to the recording of the CMC641, as in the case of this comparison video here. Now, in terms of uh, rejecting noise around you, this is where things get a little bit interesting. I'll say as firstly, you know, let's talk about the indoor one. I find that the simulator traffic between both of them, there's no difference, but maybe that's because the traffic was a point source sound. So maybe there was no difference. Now, if you are looking into a reverb room like this living room here, or maybe say, you know, in the toilet itself, I find that the CMC641 is a little bit clearer in those cases. And that is when the noise is just reverb verbs and echoes created by the uh, person speaking itself. Now, when you go outdoors, things are a little bit different. Firstly, when I look at the graph, I did notice that the uh, Simi Fire is rejecting a little bit more sound, especially in the higher frequencies. I guess that's where all the sound from the environment are. And if you actually go near, so when I was testing at one feet, I find at the outdoor one feet, there isn't much difference between both of them, except when the bus move past. Let us hear again when the bus move past. The shotgun mic is something that is supposed to excel very well in an outdoor scenario. And you did notice that the Simit 5U is actually softer when the bus move past. So this is a case where, where you come to really, really loud sound that moves, you know, in the background, the shotgun mic does better job. And then when you move to two feet, if you go back to listen in the boom marks again, you will notice that the two feet sound, the Simit 5U actually does, does sound a little bit clearer and the background is a little bit quieter, maybe 1-2 dB quieter. But it does help you, you know, make the sound, or should I say make the dialogue more intelligible to the audience itself. So that is what I feel you know, between both these microphones. But for indoor-wise, I would say to a certain extent, the indoor microphone, or should I say the CMC641 does sound a little bit clearer when you do compare things like in the toilet, in the living room, uh, things with a lot of echo. Probably the CMC641 does do a better job. But other than that, I think they are quite equivalent. In fact, even in the living room where the echo is not that high, I think I'm okay using the Simit 5U for it. I mean, <laughs> if you only have one mic, the Simit 5U probably can hack it all. Even in the toilet where it's so echoey, yes, you know, <laughs> it does lose out to the CMC641 to my ears slightly, but if not, you know, not a big deal and I really can live with the 641. Now, 
Just to note that so far the test in front was without the cut 60 filter. I did notice that the cut 60 filter that is now on the CMI, the CMC641 or CMIT, CMC641 does reduce the noise slightly and also it reduces the rumble slightly. So it makes the mic really, really quiet sounding to most people. And especially when you use earphones, headphones, it really is very quiet. And with the additional bump of 5-6 dB in terms of volume, it also reduces the amount of gain, which to start with is already lower than the CMIT. So depending on your amplifier, using the CMC641 may be a quieter option because the CMC641 only requires like 43 gain now compared to 48 gain on the CMIT 5 or is it 42 gain? So a lot lower in terms of gain requirements. So that will actually affect you if your amplifier is not that good or if you're standing relatively far away. Currently, I'm standing about one feet away and with a wall this side, let me, a wall this side and a wall that side. So this is pretty much my living room again from a different angle, but it allows you to hear how this whole video sounds like. And that's pretty much the conclusion of this video here. This CMIT 5U and the CMC641. This review, once again, is a CMC641 review, but I thought that you no know, comparing them will give you a better choice and you know, decide what to buy. Now, uh, lastly, I just want to talk, I just remember, the pricing-wise, the CMC641 has been rising, rising and rising and rising. So from my understanding, the current price of the 641 is 1650 USD. It's quite expensive. And with the cut 60 filter, it's another 350 USD more. So you're looking at maybe a $2,000 purchase. But the Simit 5U is even more expensive at 2.3K. So 300 USD more. Now both of these mics are really as expensive as you get. 2,000 USD for a mic. I think only those singing mics like the U87 are more costly. So between both of these mics, I think that you know you pretty much can live with either of the mic as a recording mic for both indoor and outdoor. In fact, as I say again, the outdoor wise, maybe when you stand far enough, the shotgun does help. But in most distances, short distances, as long as the mic is close enough, one feet away or even 1.5 feet away, probably not much difference. And if the background noise is not super, 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 super loud, the shotgun mic may not also make a difference, at least based on what I heard so far. And that's about it for today. I hope you enjoy this comparison. I didn't expect it to be so comprehensive to test indoor, outdoor, toilet, everywhere, you know, and then come together into one single video. It was longer than expected, but I hope that it really helps you to make a decision between the CMC641 and the CMIT 5U. And as I say again, this is a review of the 641, which is a fantastic piece of microphone. That's about it, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.